वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टुडे वीडियो सेशन विल गोइंग टू इंप्लीमेंट रिपोर्टिंग सर्विस ओके पर्पस ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग सर्विस इज इट विल टॉक टू प्रोडक्ट सर्विस इट विल टॉक टू अकाउंट सर्विस गेट द डाटा एंड जनरेट द रिपोर्ट ओके दैट इज द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग सर्विस इट विल गोइंग टू सी सम स्मॉल एग्जांपल पार्ट ऑफ दिस रिपोर्टिंग सर्विस ओके If you want to communicate one microservice to another microservice, the Spring Cloud component provide one component called Fain Client. Fain Client, okay? It's a F E I G N. Fain Client, okay? Using Fain Client component, we can communicate one service to another service without writing single line of code. we have to uh, define one interface through that interface we can call particular microservice endpoint we don't have to write any code to call one particular services for example let's say let's take a rest template rest template we heard about a rest template right using rest template we can call any services for that you need to write some lines of code through that code only we can communicate with the one services but in the case of fain client you don't have to write any line of code in the case of fain client by using some annotation by using one interface we can communicate one service to another service okay let's go into the implementation now i already opened the spring i o initializer now we need to create a report service com.itgarden artifact report service package is come to it garden now we need to add dependency we will we will going to create a rest endpoint so we have to add spring web we need to configuration from config service so we need to add config client we should uh, register reporting service in a eureka naming server so we need to add discovery client eureka discovery client then we need to communicate one service to another service for that we need to add fain client library we have to type open fain open fain its a name is a open fain initially they used as they used the fain client now they change it to open fain okay that is uh, uh, some version some previous version they used the fain i am not sure what is the version number exactly but latest version using open fain okay if you want to implement fain client we need to use open fain okay select open fain that's it we are not working with um, db part so we don't have to add jpa dependency okay now we'll going to generate generated extract this now we need to uh, import this report service in our intellij file new project from existing source it is available here so select uh, select reporting service report service click pomrodxml file okay trust this project a new window Meanwhile, we will check the configuration, reporting service configuration. Let me open that uh, config repo. So, report service port number is nine zero nine four. Name is report hyphen service. This is very very important. Okay, 
uh, use the same name wherever you want to use report service um, then Eureka client this is not required there is some test property property I have added this is my uh, test properties then go back to report service it's imported let me change that to application okay let me open account service first i will i want to tell something here in the account service we have a three endpoint right this endpoint for returning all customer this endpoint for returning a particular customer by providing id okay now i want to call this two rest api in my reporting service that is my intention okay go back to reporting service create a controller class new class sorry create a package first new package controller create a class report controller this is the endpoint class so i am marketing with rest controller then request mapping i am saying slash api slash reports okay now i want to call i want to define a one endpoint now public void get all customer get customer report get all customer report okay this is at get mapping here i am saying customer okay yeah, if you want to call this uh, endpoint what you have to do what is our uh, reporting service um, uh, port number is a uh, 9094 right 9094 http colon localhost 9094 slash api slash report slash customer this will return all the customers then here uh, we need to return some object i will i will come to uh, that part later so this is the method will return all the customer data this method should call our account service this method should call this endpoint should call um, our account service endpoint see this is our account service endpoint okay this endpoint should call by this reporting service method okay whenever customer call this whenever customer call this endpoint this method should invoke uh, this method should invoke this particular endpoint okay that is our intention okay, going back to report service now we need to uh, return this object return as a some java java object right whatever data returned by this particular method we have we have to return as in the form of java object for that i will going to create a one model uh, one model class first creating a package then new class i am saying customer report customer report what is the attribute we need to define here go to account service go to account service open customer we need to populate customer right um, so open customer class entity class just to copy all the attribute available here go back to reporting service paste it remove this constructor remove these annotations jp annotations not required here okay now i want to generate the getter setter method for this
okay okay now my model object is ready okay this should return that model array of that model object this should this method this get all customer report should return array of this model object okay now this is a skeleton of my report controller still we have not completed the implementation okay next step is we need to use a faint client right we need to use a faint client to call one microservice endpoint one microservice rest api if you want to call one microservice rest api we need to use faint client for that the first step is we need to add one annotation here at enable enable faint clients we need to enable a faint client then only we can use faint client api okay in the application file the application.java we have to say enable faint client that is a first, second step first step is what is the first step in the pom.xml file we need to add a faint client artifact this is very very important when you start the project when you create the project we need to add this particular dependency second step is we need to uh, add this annotation in your main class the application is a main class here annotated with the enable faint clients third step is we need to create a one client class client java class for example in our case i want to i want to call i want to get the customer data right customer data so i need to create a one uh, client class in that client class we need to define to call account service endpoint let's see how to do that so i'll going to uh, now uh, now i'll going to create a one more package called client client package in this package new class i'll going to create an interface interface name is customer no no what is my what is my uh, service name account service right so i'll going to keep name accordingly i want to use proper name account service client account service client it's a interface so i created an interface called account service client this interface act as a client of my account microservice through this account service client i can call i can call whatever method implemented inside an account service my account uh, service account microservice okay okay now this should act as a faint client right for that we need to add one more annotation here faint client faint client then followed by inside a parameter we need to add name equal to name equal to whatever service you want to call okay what is the account service name account service name check that um, config configuration the account service i have given my application name is account service right this name we have to use this name we need to use okay go back to report service just paste it just paste it now i am telling to this annotation i want to call account service i want to call account service okay then i want to tell which endpoint you want to call in this account service which endpoint you want to call from this account service that we have to tell here okay going back to account service open customer controller in the customer controller i want to call this endpoint i want to call this endpoint what is the mapping of this endpoint if you want to call this particular endpoint what you have to do we have to use this url right so we have to we just take this mapping if you want to call get all customer we have to use this mapping okay so copy this mapping go back to the reporting service public void get all customer report then at here we have to say get mapping just to paste that mapping which you copied from account service so this account service is a mapping of which service which endpoint this, uh, this endpoint right okay so i just i pasted here whenever you call this whenever you call this particular uh, method whenever you call this particular method from account service client this will invoke this particular endpoint this particular endpoint then how the faint client know account service 
port number and the uh, IP address. Uh, how this friend client know that? That's the reason we are giving the account service name, account service name. Now, whenever start the Eureka naming server, whenever you start the account service, what will happen? Account service get registered inside a Eureka naming server. Account service get registered inside a Eureka naming server, right? So, this will, this account service data available inside a Eureka naming service. Whenever you refer account service in your friend client, friend client go on to check your Eureka naming server. Friend client, friend client give this name. Hey, I want to, I, I want IP address and the port number of this service. This service, it will ask to the Eureka naming server. Eureka naming server check if any service available um, with the name of account service, it will take that particular service port number and the IP address. Port number and IP address and give it to your friend client. That's the reason we are calling Eureka naming service as a discovery service. It will use for discovering the particular service. Whenever you call this particular method through this account service client, okay, your friend client send this request, send this request to the Eureka naming server, Eureka naming server. If the Eureka naming server having any service registered with this particular uh, name, that will return that corresponding service IP address and port number. Okay, for example, this will return, what will return? HTTP colon localhost this is the ip address registered there localhost then port number is 9093 what is the port number 9092 port number is a 9092 92 slash it will take this particular mapping if we call this method if we call this method what will happen it will go, it will find client, send this data to Eureka naming server. From the Eureka naming server, it will return its corresponding IP address and port number. Then, for the, in the particular IP address port number, it will append whatever mapping we are using in this method. Now, we now we are getting full valid endpoint. Now, we are getting full valid endpoint. Okay. It's a customer, not a customer. See, account service, are using customers only, right? Customers. API slash customers. So, um, using with help of Eureka naming server, it, it is taking the IP address and the port number, then which are whatever method you are calling, that corresponding method mapping appended here. Now, through this endpoint, it will call the, call the REST API from the account service. Now that REST API returns some data, return, the, return some data, right? What is the data? The returned by Say, so what is the data it's returning? It's returning a list of customers. List of customers. Okay. Now we need to uh, get the data in the faint client. How to get that? That I'll going to see. Now we have to say here list customer report. Response entity. Response entity That's it Now whenever call this method this will return array of customer that array of customer data mapped with customer report Here one restriction is whatever whatever attributes used in the customer object See whatever object uh, attribute used in customer object the same attribute you have to use in the model classes which we are using it here i am using customer report right the customer report also i am using the same attribute which i used in customer object in the account service right so uh, your friend client easily map the data to here map the data to here okay now this method return uh, whenever call, whenever call this method this method return this particular endpoint this custom this endpoint return array of customer object that customer object mapped with array of our customer report object. This data returned as a response in the client side. Okay. Now we need to call this method. We need to call this method. Now we need to call this method. I'll going back to a report controller. Private account 
service client, account service client. I am auto wiring it. Auto wired. Now I want to call that method, uh, call that uh, rest endpoint list customer report customer report equal to account service dot client get get all customer report we no need to tell uh, response entity we can tell just a customer report itself okay return customer report whenever call this method it will call this endpoint this endpoint return array of customer that array of customer mapped to array of our customer report this method i am calling here this method i am calling here now i am saying return new response entity of list of customer report customer list slash http status dot ok ok now this returning error because I am not mentioning the right return type just to copy this paste it here that's it. Okay. Now we are done with the fine client. So in the controller class, I have implemented one endpoint called API slash report slash customer. Whenever call API slash report slash customer, this endpoint uh, invoke this method. Inside this method, I am calling account service client account service client dot get all customer. This account service of get all customer is a fine interface uh, which I implemented. That particular method mapped with the API flash customers, right? API flash customer. This is the endpoint of our account service. Okay, whenever call this method, use this endpoint, use this mapping, and append that mapping with the uh, IP address and the port number which is returned by Eureka naming server. Okay. Now, this will return an array of customer. That array of customer mapped to customer report model object. Okay, customer report model object. This model object return to response as a client side. Okay, we will going to check now whether it is working or not. I will go into Maven reload project. Before that, we will review that pom.xml, whatever dependency I have added. Okay. This is for implementing REST endpoint. This is for loading the configuration from loading the configuration from config service. One, one artifact is missing. Okay, we need to add that. Go to account service, open pom.xml file. Just to copy this. Just to copy this and paste it. So this is for loading a configuration, this is for registering inside Eureka naming server, this is for implementing a faint client. Okay. Okay, it's just build it. I'll going to start the config service now. Run run application. After completion of uh, starting after uh, starting config service, you need to start the Eureka naming server. Okay. It's looking for a service discovery. It's not available. It may return error now. It will return error now. Okay. Yeah. Go to config uh, service registry. Start the service. Okay. I'll open config repo. If you look at the report service normal file, it's a 9094 application and report service. It's a very simple configuration. Okay. Um,
Yeah, it started now. Let's check that dashboard. Here I can name it as dashboard. Eight seven six one. Still not uh, registered config service. It may take some few minutes. Okay. So config service registered. No, it log is saying that. Yeah, config service registered. Now we need to start the account service because we are we are going to call this endpoint, right? This endpoint in the reporting service. So we need to call the reporting service also. So we need to call account service also because from the reporting service we are calling this endpoint from the account 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 service. We have to start the account service. Account service started now. It should register in account server in the Eureka naming server. Let me start product service also. It's not a mandatory, but uh, the last class I have not showed right whether it is registered or not inside a uh, Eureka naming server. I'm not sure whether I showed or not. I'm going to. Uh, let me start that server service also. Yeah, this is also registered. See product service. Now we need to start our reporting service. Now we need to start our reporting service, right? Start. Run it. It's not uh, loading data from the config server because it's giving 8080. Actually, the port number I have given in the report service is 9094, right? That is not loading from here. It's uh, because it's showing a default port number 8080. We have done some mistake. Don't forget to add bootstrap.property file. Okay, uh, that is uh, some important step. Um, people may forgot to do that. Okay. Just to remove this file, remove this file, open any service. Let me open product service, copy this, go to report service, just to paste that. And change the name as a report service. Okay, now start it. Now it will load the uh, configuration from config service. Two things the people forgot uh, frequently. First one is they forgot to add bootstrap property. Then they are spend a lot of time. Why it's not coming? Why it's not coming? Another one is uh, they forgot to add this particular dependency. Without the dependency, we cannot load the properties from config service. The two things very, very important. See, this time it's showing 9094. This time it's showing 9094. And also this registered in the Eureka naming server. See here. Now report service. Report service, product service, config service, account service. All services are registered inside a Eureka naming server. Okay. Now we have a uh, very good microservice environment. Now we need to call this endpoint, report control endpoint, this call this endpoint, api slash reports uh, slash customers. The port number is 9094, right? This is a get mapping. I will going to use browser itself to show this demo. Okay. Open it. Just to paste it this 
let's see coming or not see i got the data let me check the database the last the last time when i showed the demo right i stored some um, account data the same data available database that data loading here okay when we create account service i showed some demo to storing the customer data that data is displaying here let me confirm that by opening a mysql database see here 1200 suresh ram see 1000 2000 suresh ram the same data is available here also okay now we are calling this data from report service okay let me uh, clear this log and the report service also i clear this log the report service you don't get any log because we are not uh, printing any log statement so it will be still blank okay but when i call this endpoint when i call this endpoint log will come in our account service let's check that now you see the query is coming okay so it's calling this particular method from report service report service okay so see we are now we have not written any single line of code to call one particular service right just i written uh, just i have created a one created a one a interface that interface annotated with fain client inside that annotation parameter we have to tell which service we want to call through this fain client then we need to uh, define whatever Uh, end point you want to call whatever is point rest end point you want to call from the particular service that end point mapping we need to tell that end point mapping we need to tell then that end point um, response object we need to define properly define properly okay then whenever uh, call this method particular end point this will go and check the service registry this is our service registry already account service registered that account service uh, uh, ip address and the port number okay this ip address and port number this ip address port number returned here this ip address port number returned here okay using that ip is ip address port number it construct the url then append this mapping append this mapping through this um, uh, valid url it will call the rest endpoint from docker service that return a one bunch of data that is array of uh, customer that array of customer i am mapping to my customer report that mapping part automatically taken care by our fain client you don't have to worry about it. so we are we, are, we have not returned any single line of code just we have declared some annotation we defined that's it okay it's working perfectly uh, my next intention is i want to create a product service client a product service client uh, from the product service i want to call this methods this this method okay also account service i want from the account service i want to call this method also okay that i will going to implement and i will show the demo in the next class okay in the next class we will going to complete the pending task of uh, pain fain client uh, implementation calling account uh, calling customer data by id calling all product calling product by id those implementation we will do next class as well as we will going to implement api gateway going to implement api gateway through api gateway we need to call all the services okay before closing the session see this is the uh, report service api report service api what is the account service api this is the account service api right just i want to show that also customers so the, here we are calling directly account service 9092 here we are calling from reporting service reporting service 9094 okay this is the way of calling one microservice to another microservice in the microservice environment okay this is a very simple example only okay uh, for example let's say in the reporting service i am taking the reporting the uh, customer data here customer data here now i got the customer data from the accounting service in the real time we have to apply some logic here we have to generate 
generate report properly generate report properly properly uh, for that what you have to do we need to write some logic that logic will come in real time okay we have to do after completion of that logic we have we are sending that particular process data as a report to our client side okay okay guys in the next class we'll going to see how to implement api gateway then we'll going to complete pending task of fain client okay until then bye bye from suresh still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates Thanks for watching this full video.